Do you recommend salt away inside the hull after every ride? I hear mixed reviews on spraying the inside of the hull after each ride. Um, well, obviously, you don't want to hose down all your electronics. You don't want to. You don't want to just douse the inside of your engine compartment. Believe it or not, uh, I, does WD forty used to sell the big mouth can? All right, I haven't seen it around lately. But it looks like a big air horn nozzle on a can of WD-40. It's a big, tall can of it. Oiling down. WD-40 is literally water displacement. That's what the WD stands for. Water displacement. And it's meant to push water out and coat the surface. So... If you do salt away flush, which I recommend salt away, do a salt away flush, do a salt away wash, wash out, and obviously you don't want to leave salt away in it. Wash salt away through your engine. Turn the little jobber, you know, the little selector on there. Run fresh water through it when you're done. You could go back to salt away and do it again and then run fl fresh through it if you want to do it twice. That's cool. All right. Make sure you do your intercooler side if you got a separate circuit. Salt away your ski. Fresh water your ski to get this because salt away is kind of rough. All right. It's not corrosive, but it is a detergent. All right. And detergent eats away. Detergent has some teeth to it. All right. Then I recommend, frankly, going in with a nice marine or even a car wash shampoo and washing down the ski, get a nice wash mitt, scrub it down. Because guess what? Spraying down the outside of your ski with salt away and then washing it off is still not enough to get hard deposits off of surfaces. So you wash mitt it down. Then you wash it off, get all the water out of your footwells, unless you have a Yamaha with automatic footwells, and they'll drain out. All right? Pull the seats off. Wash the engine compartment down lightly. Lightly. You can even just mist it. All right? You can salt away the engine compartment, but really, unless you got a, unless you really see salt deposits, I wouldn't even bother. I'd, I'd mist down the engine compartment and then WD-40 every damn inch of it. All right, you can use XPS. I have cans of XPS in my garage. In fact, I use XPS in building this. All right, there's XPS in this engine. All right, um, XPS works really good. It's just a water displacement, so you could do that. Um, but then, if you're going to store it, crack the seats, leave them stacked, open up your drain plugs, let it air out. And if you can, if you're on a trailer, put a wood block under the front of the trailer and tilt it so that you'll get a little bit more drainage. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, Thanks again for watching our videos and we hope to see you soon.